Warning, sarcastic commentary, spontaneous references, and random theories ahead. Watch at your own risk. Hello everybody, this is Discombobulate Gamer, and welcome back to our next scary game, Stories Untold. Now this is a game that's kind of been on my radar for a little while now. It came up as a recommended game for me based on my Steam purchases. Um, and I, of course, I always look into my games before I play them, and I avoid spoilers, but I try to look into them and see if they're a game actually worth playing. And this was actually in a couple different lists for games that were kind of overlooked in 2017. It's supposed to be very eerie, very Stranger Things vibes, um, and I'm really excited about that. I tend to like that kind of thing, so let's jump into this and see what's going on. Okay, there is a photosensitive epilepsy warning. I'll let you guys pause this if you need to and read this. Um, we really don't want anybody to have seizures while watching this. So let's see here. Okay, so we're going to start. There are four episodes in this. The House Abandoned, The Lab Conduct, The Station Process, and The Last Session. Uh, before we begin, I forgot. I want to put some... Okay, good. I do have subtitles on. Um... Now I'm going to apologize going into this. I did do a little bit of um, testing with my software. Unfortunately, my computer that I am playing this on does not have, like it has the capacity obviously to run this game, but some of the graphics are a little bit um, slower, I, I guess is what I'm, it's not as smooth on my computer just because it's, this is a computer not, it's not a gaming computer. Um, but it's what I'm working with right now, so I'm really thankful for it. So I apologize if that's going to be an issue. Um, let me know in the comments. There are plenty of other YouTubers who have tried this game that I can recommend to you who don't seem to have that issue. I went and looked at a couple other YouTubers. Not anything beyond just the titles, like the title sequence, which I'll show you in a minute to make sure that it wasn't how the sequence was supposed to go. Um, I'm just going to jump into the House Abandoned episode one as I'm talking so I can show you. Um, Press escape at any time to pause and get help, okay? So I wonder if we're gonna have some puzzles with this. Um, but I'll show you in a second. I didn't look in, like I was really careful about what I watched, but I did need to go see. You can kind of see here, it's kind of, um, oh, almost stop motion-ish, which is really nice, it's a really cool aesthetic, but apparently that's not supposed to be how it's, it's intended to look, but so. I'm just gonna be quiet and let's listen to this awesome theme music. Stories Untold. So I know that there's like four different episodes and apparently they all tell different stories. I don't know, I don't know if they're connected at all. I'm just really excited to jump into this. It's supposed to be really good. But we'll have to find out, okay. The House Abandoned. Interactive horror adventure. Yay me! Now I'm also noticing my clock here says 10.05. Why am I playing an interactive horror adventure at 10.05? That's a very good question. The House Abandoned by No Code. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Okay, so... Oh, I think I get... Oh, do I have to type it? Hang on. Look in glove box. Oh, that's cool. The glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Okay, so open glove box. Oh, this is awesome. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. This is so cool. It reminds me of the old, like the original computer games. Like uh, my dad is a computer um, person. And so when he was, when I was li really little, I remember him booting up Adventure for me, which is one of the original, like, or, like original computer games that was all text-based. So this, I'm really excited. This has got a lot of nostalgia for me already. 
Okay, uh, let's read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy! Yikes, I'm really not happy about something that you find in the attic for me. I don't, mm, that doesn't, given the fact this is supposed to be horror, not sure I'm okay with something out of our attic. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's, okay, this is the same thing. And I can't skip. Okay. It's good to be back. So let's look at key. It's the key to the house. Okay, good. Um, get out of car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Okay, I want to look at car. It's your dad's station wagon. You have fond memories of this car. Look around. Let me see if this gives me any other information. The trees stretch up to the night sky. There's the house and the yard. Okay, so I think it's, let me see if I get this right. Uh, go to yard. I'm hoping this will work right. You take a walk, good. Okay, so sometimes in these kind of games, uh, anyways, you take a round, walk around the yard. I'll come back to what I was saying. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Okay, so with these ty types of text-based games, and the only reason I know some of this is because I spent, like, I'm not exaggerating, I spent hours as a kid trying to figure out the game adventure and how to make it work. Um, like, it's very, because it's text, you have to write the specific text clues in order to make it work. So in this case, it's like, it was saying house or yard. And I'm guessing if you typed in anything with house, it would probably take you right to the house. But I wanted to get to the back of the house to look for a generator. So that's why I did yard, but I wasn't sure if that would work. So a lot of times what I've found with like, just from all that time playing adventure, you always want to look around um, wherever you are. So that way you can get extra information. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Exactly. Like, see, if I had just said, go to generator, or if I had, I probably wouldn't have been able to do that because it hadn't told me there was a generator. So go to generator. You are standing next to the generator. Good. So turn on generator. This makes me excited. This is, this is my jam. I'm so excited, but I'm really also nervous because this is a horror game. Um, and much like the last horror game we played on the channel, which was Doki Doki Literature Club, these these horror games start off really, really nice, and then they then all bad stuff ha breaks loose, and it's not great. Okay, you switch the generator on, and it works to life. The house is still dark. Go to front door. Let's see if that will work. You walk back around to the front of the house. Good. Okay, so it's gonna repeat this. Okay, same kind of thing. I can't even type until this is done. Okay, enter house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Easy, use key, maybe. Come on, there we go. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Good. Oh, um, open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to, you, next to the door, however. 
I'm getting ahead of myself. I was going to say next to you. Turn on light switch. You flick the switch and the lights come on. Good. Let's see what kind of house I'm in. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Uh, my prediction at this point is that this house is haunted. Okay, let's start with the first thing on that list. Let's go to the kitchen. Oops, come on. I cannot spell. You walk into the kitchen. Oh, I should have looked around in the hallway. Oh well. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room. But otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Look around. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Go to utility room. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Look for key. I don't know if it will let me work. Oh, it's the key to the house. Okay, never mind. Exit kitchen. You go back out to the hallway. Good. Okay, now it's going to repeat the same stuff. But this time I'm going to look around hallway, see if there's anything interesting in the hallway. But I love the aesthetic of this game. This is so cool because, and I like the fact that I, as the person, am playing a game. And in the game, in the game stories I'm told, I'm playing a computer game, which is cool. Look around. The hallway is a pleasant welcome to the home. Airy and fresh. Sounds lovely. Um, go to living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. See, everything looks happy at the moment, which makes me nervous. Because it's never going to be this happy. There's nothing here of interest. Like, Exit living room. It makes me very concerned. You go back out to the hallway. Like, this is a horror game, so bad things are going to happen. And that makes me very, very, very worried. <laughs> the hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs. Um, go upstairs. And I just, I love the background and the overall aesthetic of this game so far. Like, I love, like the old pictures and the frames and the old keyboard and the wired like the wired phones and the old alarm clocks and stuff this brings back a lot of memories for me and I really like that um I would love this game even if it wasn't going to be horror but I think the fact that it's going to be horror I may end up liking it even more okay the stairwell landing there is a bathroom and two bedrooms yours and your sister's pictures adorn the walls images of happy times look around a standard landing there are pictures frame picture frames covering one wall that's a hint that i definitely need to look at pictures family photos and holiday snaps our happy family okay awesome now let's go to bathroom because nothing bad ever happens in the bathroom in a horror movie or horror film, horror game, horror genre. Anyways, you're in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. All right, let's look around. The bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Look at mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. Thanks. Let's look at the sink. Oh, and that's cool. If I move my mouse, it moves this around. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. Okay, never mind. We'll just exit the bathroom then. You step back out onto the landing. And so the next thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to go to the sister's room, I think. 
Because I'm very nervous to go to our room and look at whatever our dad found for us in the attic. I think that's going to be very, very bad thing. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be good at all. Okay, so go to sister's room. You walk into your sister's room. Oh, sister's old room. My apologies. Your sister. All right, game. Was that an intentional freeze there for a second? I don't know. That was kind of weird. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful, soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Okay, so let's look around. Let's look around. There is also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door slightly ajar. Ooh, interesting. Look at wardrobe. Oh, except I totally misspelled that. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> Come on, game. Hurry up. Look at wardrobe. A large clothes wardrobe. Unusually, the door is slightly ajar. She never liked you going through her stuff. Uh, I don't care. Open wardrobe. It's empty. Apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Interesting. Look at photographs. Oops. Look at photographs. They are all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Okay, that's creepy. Um, what am I gonna look at? Let's look at posters. Posters of all her favorite pop stars mixed with some of her own art. She was pretty good. Can I look at the art? Bet you're better than me at drawing art. Posters? Okay, this is the same thing. I don't know. What was that trying to say with the... All the identical photographs. That's kind of weird. Maybe her sister went crazy? I don't know. Um, Look at trophies. There's a lot to look at in this room. She won a lot of trophies for dance and gymnastics. Talented girl. Awesome. Look at trophies. Toys. Every soft toy she has ever owned. Okay. I wonder how old her sister is. Like, it says that the sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you'd seen her. It doesn't say, I don't know how old she is. She doesn't sound super old. I don't know. Exit room. You step back onto the landing. But I guess, I mean, I guess some people really, really like stuffed animals and it's really not a thing for how old you are. I don't know. It's kind of odd. I don't know how old she's supposed to be. Alright, we're just going to have to grit our teeth and go to our room, I think. I really don't want to, but we will do this. Go to your bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. A gift wrapped box. Okay. Um, look around. It's a standard bedroom. A desk, a wood grain TV, the usual. Look at desk. Your good old desk. A little dusty, but still very sturdy. Good. Look at television. Look at television. A good few years old now, but it still works like new. Okay, good. Look at gift box. A large gift wrapped present. The tag says your name. Ugh. Open present. 
I feel like this is going to be a bad thing. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 126K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Wait a minute. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Futuro 128K. Can I click on this? This is this is starting to get weird. This is starting to get really weird. Cause like, and they also talked about like the wood grain TV. Like, this is really weird. On your desk is a Futuro 128K plus two computer, and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, set up. Uh, computer. This is like inception level right now. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. I don't. I think I'm going to regret this. Play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press what? What? <laughs> okay, I jumped at that. I jumped at that. What is going on? What is going on? Why is the game upside down? What? Get out, 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 get out. It just says get out. The house abandoned. What is going on? <laughs> you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. What is going on? <laughs> um, This was freaky. It's not the same game. Like, it's... Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says... Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car. Get out the car. Get out, get out, get out the car. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. I don't like this. I don't like this. This is great. This is great. This is, this is, this is happy. This is really happy. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a good time. Look at key. Okay, so that's the same. What if I look around inside the car? Can I do that? You're in the car. You don't want to get out. Okay. Can I drive away? End game. Okay, fine. Get. Get out of. Oh. oh. Get out of car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind. And all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Look at car, because it said warped car door. What happened to our car? It's your dad's station wagon. It's a wreck. I don't like this. Are we dead? Is that the whole thing? Is that we're actually dead right now? Um, look around. 
The lights are off. Windows are broken. There's the front door and a yard. Go to yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There is an old generator next to you. Turn on generator. <laughs> there isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. That is awesome. This is... Oh, and I'm noticing... Oh, you see the pictures? Oh, man. So we're in the... This is, this is messing with my mind. We're in the house, but... This is so weird. Okay. Um, go. Why am I doing this? Go to front door. You go back to the front of the house. This is so freaky. Okay, same thing. This is so freaky. This is so freaky. This is really freaky. There's no love here. Okay. Go to front door. Oh, I forgot. I have to actually type. Enter house. And then it's going to make me use the key. Door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Enter house. <laughs> you reluctantly step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. The stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Turn on lights. Afraid of what you may see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. Oh! Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock. Be quiet, turn off, turn off. It's blaring someone else is in this house. That can't be. Um. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Stop. Make it stop, 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 make it stop. Turn. Look. Around. You can't see any alarm. But you can barely think with that noise. Think. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Um, 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 um. Make it stop. Okay, um, let me try this. Uh, come on. Stop alarm. <laughs> this is freaky. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Look at note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is freaky. I'm going to look around. There are stairs and doors to kitchen and living room. Nothing else to say? 
Alright, let's start with the kitchen. Yay! You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there's a carcass on the table. Yay, yay, yay. Yes, that's just what I hear. I don't want to hear. There's writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. I gotta, let's look around. Let's start with that. There seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood. Great. I want to look at the carcass because that's something that should not be here. <laughs> There's a lot of things that shouldn't be here. You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Look at writing. Oh, I jumped. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Okay, um... Go to utility room. Oh, I misspelled utility. Go to utility room. Okay, look at utility room. There we go. There's a red X on the door. You assume it's painted. It's paint. Yeah. Must be paint. It feels like the note. Um. Enter utility room. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I want to look at note because it mentioned it feels like the note. The paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There is nothing for you here. Oh, lovely. Oh, I just noticed this. 1986 on our wall. I wonder if that's always been there. I kind of want to go back and replay it and figure out exactly when that shows up. Okay. I gotta wait for this to finish and then I'm gonna exit this room. Oh, this is freaky. This is amazing. This is amazing. I love this so far, but it's... Oh, it's creepy. It's one of those games that makes me want to keep checking around my, my actual, like, my real life surroundings because it makes me feel like something's behind me. Exit. Kitchen. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Why are my shoes wet? That's not a good sign. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped. Okay, this is the same thing I said before. This is the same thing I saw before. Oh, man. Great. This looks... This sounds... This is gonna be great. I'm so, so happy about the situation. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Let's do this. Go to living room. You enter the living room. The living room. Although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Look around. Run down and empty. Abandoned. And for good reason. Look at furniture. The furniture looks disgusting. There is no way you would sit on it. Look at note. The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, note. Thank you, note, for telling me something I don't know. Oof. This is freaky. I love it. I love this, so... But I'm really nervous to go upstairs. This 
is so weird. This is very Twilight Zone-ish in some ways. Alright. Exit. Living room. You return to the hallway. You're still in the hallway. Okay, this is the same thing. Oh man. So this is so weird because I'm in the house, but I'm also like, this is just so weird. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is freaky. But I love it. But I love it. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not being very funny in this episode. Like, what happens with me when I start getting scared, one of four things happen. Either I ramble on about nothing and I just, just ramble. I become extremely sarcastic and funny. I stop talking altogether. What's the other thing I do? Those are mostly it. Either I stop talking. Like, I don't, sometimes, I don't really get super scared. Like, I mean, I do get scared. Don't get me wrong. I don't get, like, the screaming. Um, I don't know. Let's just, uh, let me stop stalling and go upstairs. Go upstairs, because that's what I'm doing right now. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same, but different. Ah, uh, I hear the- I hear them walk you upstairs. <laughs> this is crazy. Lenny has access to your sister- Oh no, 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 no. Behind the door, phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. It's your phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts. And you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Hang up phone. Relief. Same, but different. Differ dot ENT. That's weird. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room. Your room. And the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall. But something is different about them. The landing is bare and worn. Photos adorn the wall, all misaligned. Look at photos. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored at on all. You kind of mean like this? Like that? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, I have a great feeling about this. This is going to be a great thing. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Great! I love bugs. No, I don't. I hate bugs. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rested in position. Look at mirror. You can't bear to look at yourself. Bear is spelled wrong. But apparently we can't look at each at ourselves. Okay. Exit. Bathroom. I don't know which one I'm more worried about going to. Our room or the sister's room. Even I feel like it's our room. But sister, something, something crazy is going on with the sister. I'm calling it now. I don't like this. Same but different. Like, I don't like how it says sister, sister's room. Like, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. Something is different about the... Alright. Enter sister's... Enter sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. My bear spelled correctly. Um... So Jennifer's our sister. Look at Jennifer's 
room. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. Okay, I don't want to do this. Go to your room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Huh! I wonder what that could be. Alright, I don't know what that is. Okay, fine. Let's see here. Let's try unlock. No. Okay. Enter. It's hard finding the right the right dialogue. Open your room. Okay, fine. I misspelled. I understand I misspelled it. Come on, game. Okay, so that won't work. Let's try and look at door. Hmm. Open your bedroom. Huh, okay. Okay, I know that it's bolted shut. Look at combination lock. Oh, look at combination look. That was great. All right, look at combination lock. Ah! I'm getting okay let's try let me just try hmm okay I know it's bolted shut I want to un Oh, good. I just had to hit unlock. I don't know. That was great. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted. Not used in years. Why is our door locked off? The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note heavier. You grab the lock. You can now input the code. 1986. Oh, that's good sound design. That's good sound design. Same. Okay. I want to look at the note when this is done. I like, I love the sound design of hearing the, the lock unclick and it makes it sound like it's right behind you. Uh, this would be so freaky in VR. I don't think that this is, this is a game that can be used in VR. I don't think I've seen it listed, but this would be so freaky in VR. Um, okay, look at note. The note is now clean again. Simply reading. Get in, get out. So weird. Okay. This is so weird. But it's so good. I love it. Okay. I'm really scared. I'm equally scared and equally excited to see what happens when we go to our room. <laughs> I'm kind of bracing myself for a jump scare. Enter your bedroom. The door is closed. Open bedroom. Oh. Open your bedroom door. That's freaky, but awesome. You open the bedroom door. I'm kind of freaked out. Okay. Um, Oh, I have to actually enter, enter the room. Okay. Enter your bedroom. You enter your bedroom. I'm waiting for the footsteps. There they are. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. That's different. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. 
The clock reads 99.99. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tighter. Look around. You see me sitting there. Helpless. You edge closer. Look at me. I don't want to turn around. I can't look at you. So weird. Look at you. Okay. This is so freaky. Okay, look at person. Rocking back and forth. Consumed by guilt. So, I feel guilty about something, okay? Um, maybe I'm responsible for people dying? I don't know. Um, talk to person. You struggle out a hello. Everything you say, I say. Everything you are, I am. A feeling of hopelessness. Your grip on the note tightens further. Oh man, okay. I'm gonna as soon as this as soon as this dialogue plays out, then I'm gonna look at the note. See what creepiness it tells me this time. Oh, this is this is amazing. It's so freaky. Alright. Look at note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. Sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take. Even in this place. It was out of my hands. But still you punish me. I can be with you now. Oh, I don't like that. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Turn off computer. End game. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. What? Oh, please stop. Stop. It was all my fault. Say it. It was all your fault. I'm gonna be sassy. Just say it. Fine. I don't know what was my fault, but I'll say it. Finally. Wait, what? Was that it? Oh wow, that was it! Wow! <laughs> that was awesome! That was freaky, but awesome. Oh man, that was so good. That was so good. I can't wait to play, I wanna play the next episode. That was so good. That was so awesome, okay. Man, that was really, really good. Ooh, I'm, and I'm, now I'm excited because we still have, that, that was only a quarter of this game. <laughs> and that was only a quarter of this game and we just played it. Um, man, oh, that was really good. As I mentioned before, that would be so cool in VR, but that would be so scary. I don't think I'd be able to handle that in VR. I really want to play it in the, uh, another episode, but we're already about 50 minutes in. And that would be a really, really long episode. So I think I'm going to end this here for now. Let me know what you guys thought of The House Abandoned. Oh, man. I, I loved it. I loved it. And 
you know, let me know what you thought of it. Oh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am. Um, oh man, it was so good. I keep thinking about it. But I hope you guys are all having a great day, and I will see you guys soon for episode two, The Lab Conduct. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!